The Troy Superstar Darren Crookshank here. Going to do a review on all my equipment that I uh, that I use for the Rock Castle uh, 10K Run and Gun 2019. First, I uh, I took 15th in the running. Uh, I have short legs. I took 7th in the shooting and combined those together, I took 10th overall out of uh, 80 competitors. Um, I got a short notice spot. Uh, I was like a week out that I was, uh, that I got the email and said that I have a spot and I can run the match. So, uh, preparation for it, I basically just put my gear together, I ran a couple miles and I called it a day. So, this year, I, uh, I ran my AR, my uh, BG Defense uh, 10.5 pistol. Um, has a Law Tactical folding device. That was really nice. I throw it on my back, fold it down, and obstacles and all that stuff were a lot easier. I ran fully suppressed, both pistol and rifle. Made for a little length, but uh, I do the shooting sports just in case, like to get me ready for the apocalypse. So, bam, I would run suppressed in a real life situation. This is the uh, GSL. 30 cal, uh, multi cal can, full auto rated, sweet. Um, as far as the optic, I chose my 1 to 8 AccuPower, or Trigicon AccuPower, uh, first focal plane. It makes the gun a little heavier, uh, but um, what I think the, the hard part is, when, if I ran my full length 18 inch gun, then it's a lot harder to do obstacles, uh, so I ran my short, my short barrel. Um, but I was still able to uh, see my targets, uh, use my holds um, for the distance targets with my 1 to 8. I prefer magnification where some guys would like to run a dot on their pistol. I like magnification, especially at those distance targets, because if you can't see, you can't sh shoot it. So, um, yeah, 1 to 8. Um, bam. I used a backpack sling. I made this deal. Throw it on your back and you're good to go. Uh, between stages, I was able to reload mags, uh, adjust my equipment, all that stuff because I was hands-free. So, I fold this down. Throw it on my back, tighten it down, and obstacles were a lot easier. Boom, 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 reloading mag, stuff like that. Once I was uh, getting close to a stage, I would switch from my back. Uh, so I would just pull the steel off, bang, flip this out to this uh, Strike Industries uh, little mount that goes on my chest. This deal would go in here. This locks in. Let's see. And the only thing I would change, the Strike industry thing is cool. I really like it, but maybe I need to, to add some Loctite to this or something because this little mount deal keeps coming out. So it could just be a matter of locking it down. Um, but that, that uh, this goes on my chest rig, locks in, pulls it right there. I can go hands-free. I can rip it off my chest and pew, pew, pew really fast. Um, I use that because when you get to a stage, you have to show clear. Bang, you show the clear, and then uh, and, and all that. Now, if I had this on my back, then I would have to rip this thing off. It would take a little longer, but, uh, so that's why I use the, 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 the front chest deal. Uh, so, there's my rifle. Bang, that's how I ran it. It's awesome. Uh, as far as my, let's go to my pistol. I ran fully suppressed. So I have uh, my ATEI uh, Glock 17 with a Trigicon RMR. This is the GSL Stealth 9mm can. I ran really hot ammo as far as my pistol. Uh, that way the clock would actually pick it up. If I ran normal 115 or uh, even uh, you know 175 grain like competition stuff from Phoenix, this thing is stupid quiet. It's movie quiet. The clock wouldn't pick it up. Um, 
And so I, I wanted the clock to pick it up because it's a competition and I didn't want anybody to say I was cheating or anything. So I actually got some, uh, some uh, 124 super hot, it's like 1200 feet per second, basically uh, uh, nine millimeter NATO rounds. Um, still hearing safe, but uh, a little more snap to them. That way the clock picks them up. So that's what I ran. I ran an enforced light uh for the cave bam i made my own holster for this deal uh and uh goes in here i put a slight angle back you can see that that way uh this wasn't touching my leg after after say a stage this thing gets hot this espresso gets hot and i get a little burn on my leg so i kick this backwards i also added some tension so uh because there's obstacles i put this little deal on there Obstacle that way the gun wasn't falling out just in case I can throw this upside down and still doesn't fall out But and then there's a lot of mud. So I uh, I got one of these little caps I think strike industry sell these too. go right on my RMR Before a stage would start I would just flick it off and I was good uh, My RMR never got muddy wet uh, sand dirt anything in there as far as the running so that was actually uh, bam um, I ran two dump bags my first dump bag for the first for the first obstacle of the whole thing is a giant mud pit like really bad so um i didn't want to run the rest of the race uh all muddy and gross and wet because that's like you know five and a half six miles more uh so swap stop and wet so i actually brought extra pair of shoes pair of socks and a small towel right after that first stage, I ripped my stuff off, I cleaned my feet off, I put fresh socks on, fresh shoes, and I was comfortable the rest of the the, uh, the match. Um, here's the shoes that I that I uh, took off, right? You can see how muddy they are, pretty gross. Um, that made to, to, I thought that was a smart, smart choice on myself. Um, as far as my rifle ammo, obviously Phoenix ammo, I ran the 75 grain, uh, competition stuff. I was able to make hits out to 300 yards uh, with my 10.5 barrel, which is awesome. Um, my Glock, I ran 33 round sticks. I reloaded both my 40 round mags and my 33 round sticks between stages. I actually, I could have got away with just taking two mags, one mag of each, because uh, I never ran empty. So uh, that way, I would, like maybe next year, one mag a piece, but it's like two is one, one is none, what that mag breaks. Uh, okay. I took uh, Phoenix Ammo gloves for the, uh, for the rope climb, and uh, if I had to crawl under rocks, like real sharp rocks, I did that. Um, as far as the cave stage, this deal failed me. I charged it up. Maybe the battery's dead, I don't know, or the battery is bad. Um, I went to go into the cave, you have to have a flashlight to get to the ROs that are inside the cave. It's super dark. Um, this failed me. Turned off right away and never turned back on. I'm kind of like crapping my pants right there because you have to have a flashlight to get back to them. So luckily, I actually brought my cell phone with me. I whipped out the, the flashlight on it and it got me to the RO. Once uh, the stage started and I, ha I had my gun light, and I was good to go. Um, but luckily, I brought my... my um, my cell phone. So as far as my chest rig, I ran a, it's Blue Force gear, it's nice and tight, it's real slim. Um, it comes with integrated uh, mag pouches on the Cumberbund deal. Really nice, but I also added two. Uh, and I like the Blue Force gear, it keeps my stuff, my mags right in there secure and it's not real bulky. Um, when I pull a mag out, it's nice and flat, I can lay on my belly, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have this deal. Uh, on the top, which I actually put all my holes for the long range stages. I pre wrote them. That way, as I'm getting up to the stage, I can check it. Boom, it's in my head. I shoot the stage and there's no guessing. Um, this worked out really well. So Blue Force gear. I ran a camel pack. Boom, got my water. This all works great. Uh, let's go. My, uh, my Big Toast gear, this is what I ran. It's still actually really sweaty, gross. Um, but this kept me, this gave me uh, mobility to run. I ran shorts in the spandex, the, their spandex shirt. Um, 
that worked out great, no chafing, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, 40 round mags, all my equipment. I brought a extra sling, just out of 550 cord, just in case something broke. Yep, that's it. I had an awesome time. Thank you to all my sponsors. Let's go through them. ATEI, Trigicon, GSL, uh, BG Defense, uh, Victos, and then uh, Halfpack Targets. I practice all my all my uh, shooting on Halfpack Targets, and Open Tactical has always taken care of me throughout my whole career. Um, oh yeah, and Phoenix Ammo. They supplied me with almost the most important part of this whole thing. If I didn't have ammo, then I can't practice and shoot. So Phoenix Ammo, they always take care of me. See you next year. There's my stuff.